Africa Connect is coming to an end in May 2015 and it is uh, seen in the European Commission as one of the most successful development aid projects um, because it has been able to create a regional research and education network but for the, from a purpose of development, it has really created regional cohesion and a regional community and most importantly regional ownership in, the, in southern and eastern Africa through the Ubuntu Net Alliance, of course, and the Ubuntu Net Alliance members. From a development point of view in the European Commission, these are very important points, uh, the fact of ownership. In that respect, um, what the European Commission has very much liked is the fact that um, Dante has been the contracting partner in the Africa Connect project, but really the content leadership and the managerial leadership came out of the Ubuntu Net Alliance and the member NRENs. And um, they would like to see this continue, but at the same time, they don't only want to ex see it continue in Southern and Eastern Africa, but they really want to see it continue in all of Africa. And therefore, Africa Connect 2 is going to be a Pan-African uh, project covering all of the African countries. Uh, but at the same time, it remains uh, a little separate because what we obviously recognize is that there's different states of development of r &E networking in different African countries. Um, Southern and Eastern Africa now has had the Africa Connect project. They've built the Ubuntu Net backbone. They have connected NRENs. They have started uh, user support. They have started communications about the NRENs. It's a completely different environment from West Africa where we only have very few NRENs that have formed and are supporting their users and have a national infrastructure. So therefore we have decided that uh, Africa Connect 2, even though it's Pan-African, it will be three separate clusters. Uh, one is covering Southern and Eastern Africa, the other one is covering West and Central Africa, and then the third cluster is, is North Africa. The overall contract value of Africa Connect 2 is 26.6 million euros. And um, this is going to be again, you know, sort of a 75-25 roughly um, split in the, in the contribution. So the large amount will come, 20 million euros will come from the European Union and the remaining funding will have to be found in the African continent. The project will start as soon as possible, around May 2015 and then it should last um, between four and four and a half years. So it will lead us into 2020. And uh, by that time we will then need to see. But from what I see, absolutely is an ongoing commitment from the European Commission, as well as from the GEAN community in Europe on keeping supporting the African community in their building of research and education networking.